After following these steps, you will be able to run a trial balance in Sun Systems. To do that, go to the Function Control box or the Action box, type TBL to go to the Trial Balance function, and then press Enter. This Change Business Unit window will be displayed automatically if the user does not preset a specific business unit. Therefore, you need to specify your business unit code in this field. You can enter your business unit code, use the query function, or press F5 to select the code. Here, we enter our business unit code and then press Enter. When this warning is displayed, this means that there are some held journals in your business unit. If you want to return to viewing held journals to check again, click No. To ignore the held journals because you have checked them already, click Yes to continue. Here, we will click Yes to continue. This is the trial balance function window. Here, you can choose some parameters to run the report. You can select some options such as accounting period, transaction date, etc. Here, we will choose accounting period and then press enter. Next, enter the accounting period that you would like to run the report for. For the data balances, if this field is set to yes, the account balances are totaled and printed as a one-line summary. The creditor and client balances fields are the same. Next, press enter to finish selecting fields. Click on the print button. Click on the OK button in the document format runtime parameters window. Here is the trial balance report in Sun Systems with the first page displaying the report parameters information. Click the next button to move to the next page. Let's introduce some buttons in this window. You can use the buttons on the toolbar to move to the first page. Previous page. Next page. And last page. There is the Refresh button to refresh data for the report. You can also export the report to many format types such as Excel, PDF, etc. You can print out by clicking on the Print button. We have now finished the lesson. See you next time.